this here is my iMac 2010 and it is fixed and working again currently it runs 10.13 high Sierra and Windows 7 dual booted and it has its stock GPU so the Radeon HD 5670 I put out the 765M you already saw me putting this in here I put it out because I want to flash this card to work as if it was a Mac branded card so it will get a Mac V bias that means we will have a boot screen, brightness control and a boot switcher. If you were to put that in right now you would lose all of this and you already saw me doing that. Now the process of flashing it was back then when I made the original video where we upgraded it to the 765M was way harder. You would need to mod the boot ROM and uh, it would reset itself randomly sometimes I've heard and I just didn't want to go through the hassle of doing all of this but right now uh, it's supposed to be way easier we will only have to have to file which I have and we'll have to flash it in Windows in NV Flash so that's why I installed Windows and Mac uh, to have it working and ready so I copied the file on here and I just pray that um, it's going to boot with the 765M uh, into Windows. I hope it just doesn't blue screw anything because we need to run Windows in order to flash it. You can do it in a different fashion. You can flash it using a CH341A flasher or something, but it's uh, way more complicated and uh, I don't want to do it so we'll do it this way so my plan right now is to because it's ready to go I will uh, upgrade this once again I don't want to film it because you already saw me doing it in the other video and uh, hope that everything still works which it should it always did and uh, then boot into Windows run the flash and hopefully it will display a boot screen because when we have all of this this machine can go to Mojave and Catalina way easier than without a boot screen or boot switcher it will just be way 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 more simple so yeah hope everything goes well I have some files or also I think they work uh, with a 770M and a 760M or no a 780M well, whatever, and some AMD cards as well. Um, found all of those. I hope they work. They should. So, yeah. Um, I'm glad I found this article, which is from a German blog, and they summarized it really easily. Way easier than the uh, Mac Rumors post, which is a total mess. Like, uh, nobody really knows where it starts and where to look, and there's not a proper guide, even though all of these guys did such an amazing job. Of creating that 765M V bias, so I don't know. They should have uh, really would have make made life a lot easier for lots of people if they would write a dedicated guide how to do it. It's not really that hard, at least from theory. So yeah, let me get that GPU in here and hope that it boots, and then we'll start the uh, more tedious stuff. Old one is out. New ones in GTX 765M works in macOS without any issues. However, now comes the exciting part. Let's boot this into Windows. First of all, hope that it boots. <laughs> I purposely didn't install any drivers just to minimize problems. Um, and then flash it. Oh my god, exciting stuff. And the boot screen is back in black. Let's see if uh, Windows likes it. Oh my god, hopefully it does. And then we'll run that command. Oh, saw something blinking. There we go, Windows is starting, yes! Here is Flash Tool. 
and the firmware. The one we need, 765M. We don't need any of the others. Can delete those. All right, I made a backup of the old one called old.rom. And now, now here we go for the real stuff. And we flash 64. And all we have to do now is 765meg2.rom. Yeah. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna do it. Press Y to update. Error. Software write protection enabled. Alright, it's doing it. I just had to enter protect off first. So that was all. It is doing it, guys. Oh my god, that's exciting stuff. Still no error. Come on, go to 100%. Come on, come on. <laughs> this is some exciting stuff. I've never flashed a video card before. Never ever. A reboot is required for the update to take effect. Alright, guys. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. You ready? Are we gonna see a boot screen or not? This is it. This is it. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Show me the Apple logo. Come on. Show me the fucking Apple logo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I make hacks by... Yeah? Oh, well, maybe I've set it to Windows as a default. Um, yeah. But I think it worked. Let's reboot it and hold down the Option key. Let's hold down the Option key. It should work now. Holding down Option. I am doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> we have it! A boot screen! Oh my god! It worked! Holy shit! Wow! Oh my god, I can't I can't believe this. This is not possible. And it wasn't even that hard. Oh my god! Haha! <laughs> wow, check this out guys. Look at that. Look at it. That is the guy. Props to you, Nick DVB. You made this possible. And it works, guys. So... Wow, you can't believe how happy I am. Let's try to reboot it again. I want to show you uh, the boot selector again because I want to set macOS as the default. So let's hold on Alt again. <laughs> there it is. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, successful. I did it. We finally have a boot screen with a NVIDIA GTX 765M and it was really easy. All you need is Windows, guys. That is the only requirement. If you have Windows, then you can pull it off. So, yeah, guys. Hope you like it. I am so happy I can finally bring this mag into the Mojave and Catalina age. My god, what a relief. So, here it is. Um, working beautifully. And uh, I will update, of course, my upgrade guide article now, now that I finally did it. And I uh, hope you liked the video and found it informative. So, thank you for watching, and see you later.